I just wanted to show you guys some of the palettes that I've purchased over the last few months since it's gotten colder and fall came. A lot of makeup companies had come out with some amazing palettes and a few of them I've used, a few of them I just got and I haven't used yet so I kind of wanted to review a few of them and just show you guys um, the ones that I had purchased. So I'm going to start off with the more older, um, a couple weeks ago, you know, not the more current ones and then move to like the newer ones. So let's get started on this fall palette tutorial. Okay, so the first palette I'm going to review is the Tarte Energy New York palette, and I'm pretty sure this came out, um, uh, it's not super new, maybe a month ago or two months ago. I wanna start using this more, and I can't wait to create some mauve looks with this. This has really beautiful um, dark plum colors. It comes with a blush, a highlight, and it looks like it has some eyeliner shades down at the bottom. This is really pretty if you're into the whole fall plum look. Um, I can't wait to try it out. I do think it's very pretty and I'm gonna show you guys a close up. It's very pretty. Next palette I'm going to review is the Urban Decay Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette and this is it right here. And as you can see, it is full of beautiful and bright colors and I happen to have used this one quite a lot. Um, I have been starting to branch out and do more colorful looks instead of my usual neutrals. So I definitely think that if you are into that type of makeup look that has a lot of bright colors, that pops, um, I would invest in this palette. This is by far my most used palette right now. It has amazing pigmentation, amazing colors. It comes with greens, blues, purples, pinks, browns. You have everything you need in this palette. One thing that it doesn't have that you don't necessarily need but comes in handy is a transition shade. So if you kind of like to go in with like a light brown or something, you might need to dip into another palette to do that. But this palette is every bright color you would ever really want. So the next palette that I had purchased was this Tarte palette. And I think this packaging is so cute and so pretty. I would think that you could actually take this out and use it later for other uses. Um, it comes with a mascara, a brush, a double-sided brush, and what I think is really cool about it is that it actually, I'm gonna hold it up, it has a little book on top that opens up and it has more eyeshadow shades in it and more colors, but this is what it looks like. It has beautiful neutrals, it has a few plum colors, and it has your black, your dark gray and then like your whites that you use for highlights, which I think is really pretty. And I just think the packaging on this really sold me, honestly. It's just, I don't know, I'm just attracted to pretty things. But okay, so this is the little book that was in the top. And I think this is cute to just like put in your purse or um, for just like everyday use. This has really pretty colors in it and it has a blush and also a highlight. I have used this palette and I will say this is a perfect palette for somebody that is not into super bright colors, that just wants an everyday look. This will be perfect for you. I love it, I've used it a lot. It has so many transition shades. Um, so I would say at the top of my list right now would be the Urban Decay Spectrum Palette and this Tarte Palette. And this is High Performance Naturals is what this palette is called. It's so pretty, I can't get over how pigmented some of these colors are. I love it. And I know that you guys will love it too if you try it. So definitely 100% love. Just was my Kat Von D, oh sorry, that's a little bright. Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca Remix Palette. And this has so many bright and beautiful colors. It also has a lot of neutral colors too, which is great because you don't need to use another palette for a transition shade. So this is what it looks like. And you just have a huge coloring of any color you would really want to achieve, you can mix these. I have, and so far my favorite shade in this palette is Rewind and Destroyer, and those are like, that's like that poppy red color, and then that more burgundy. It's so pretty, and I can't wait to do some looks with the blues. Um, I would say this is also one of my favorites. I've been loving this palette as well. And this is the Kat Von D Mi Vita Loca palette. Okay, and this next palette is Too Faced. I think this is called the Grand Palace, I believe. This is so cute, the packaging that it comes in. So you just, you open it up and it's like a little house. Isn't that so cute? Got like um, a melted lipstick in here. And this melted one is, let me see what the name of this one is. Melted Peony, 
which I love that lipstick. I actually have it. And this is like a miniature version, so this is like good for your purse. And then it comes with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. And it also comes with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And these are all like little travel mini sizes, which is really cute. And I also just really love the packaging on this as well. It's just, I mean, I can't get over it. Isn't that like a little cute little house? <laughs> okay, this is the palette. And I have used this as well. And I think it's really pretty. I really like the neutral shades in here. I haven't tried the pink yet, but that's something that I will be definitely trying. I have tried the highlight shade and it is so pretty. It comes with three highlights and I think these are kind of universal. I wouldn't, I mean, at first you wouldn't think you could probably use this for your face, but the top three look like they could be used on your face. If, I don't know about the blues and the pinks, but these have a sheen to them that is very much like a highlighter. I would try satin sheets, possibly over a blush. It's really pretty, but this does come with two blushes, a bronzer, and one highlighter. And I really love this. Too Faced is one of my favorite companies when it comes to um, buying palettes. They are my favorite eyeshadows. There's just something about them that's so pigmented and it goes on so smoothly. I am a sucker for Too Faced products. I'm just obsessed with everything that they make. This next palette that I purchased is the Vice palette. And can you just look at how pretty that is? It's supposed to represent an oil slick, which I don't know if most people know that, but it's pretty cool. So this is what it looks like inside. You have a variety of different colors. You've got your purples, you got your grays, your greens, you have a really pretty teal, and then you have some neutrals towards the bottom. So this is really pretty for somebody that likes to mix up their looks. Um, I haven't used it yet, but if you guys want me to do a couple of looks with any of these, just comment below and let me know what you want me to use, and I would love to. So that is the new Vice palette. And the last palette that I have, the one that I literally just purchased yesterday, is the Smashbox Art Love Palette. And when I saw this online, I have to say, I was very anxious to get it just because it had beautiful shades, it had blushes, and all different kinds of unique colors. I had used this palette today and I did a green, uh, forest green look, and I had used this color right here. C and then I had used these as well. Now when I used C I wet my brush and it was absolutely beautiful. Like I don't have any greens that come out so pigmented and that one I love. But when I went into these other greens they were just kind of, when I went to these they just were kind of disappearing off my eye and you know it was really, I really want to like this palette a lot and I'm going to keep giving it a try but those colors were not coming out pigmented at all, and I don't know if I'm the only person that feels this way, but uh, this one a little bit let me down today. But I'm willing to try the other colors to see if maybe those colors just aren't very pigmented, and maybe I just need to, I mean, you can build them up, you really can, but they don't read off as pigmented as they look when you put them on your eyelid. So I will just show you guys all the colors in here. As you can see, it's a beautifully made palette, I mean, I thought it was going to be bigger in person, but I like that it's small. It looks like a little book, and you pretty much have every color that you would ever need in here. You have your golds, your greens, your blues, your purples, your pinks, and all of these little big pots are blushes or highlighters. So you have like a orangey highlight, um, another like a lighter highlight. You could use this as a blush, uh, like a more rose blush, and then an orangey blush, and then this is like a pinkish highlight another uh, champagne highlight and then you have this plum blush and then a more like um, mauve blush over here which I'm a fan of that those types of blushes I love that so I'm gonna give this another try I, I do think it's really really beautiful um maybe the colors I used today just didn't come off right maybe it was just a bad day I don't know but this is the Smashbox Art Love palette so that's it for this um, palette haul tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys some of my palettes that I really like and some of them that I haven't tried yet. So if you guys are interested in any looks, please comment below. And if you want me to use a specific palette that I showed in this video, go ahead and comment that too. So thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for more tutorials that are coming soon.